Hello YouTube, PsychoFox here, and I've spent most of the morning tinkering around with SD cards. I've got one of these fantastic um, little SD readers for the Commodore 64, and it basically emulates the uh, five and a quarter inch disk drive. SD2 IEC, I think it's called off the top of my head. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I've got a tiny little um, capacity SD card in there at the moment because I've got a 2 gig one on the way. But I've just got a couple of games on that one just to test out that it actually um, works. Um, so yeah, there it is, plugged into the disk drive port. The little um, bit of shiny uh, yellow wrapping you can see there is just to insulate the connection to the tape deck port. That's where the little unit gets its 5 volt power from. So I've got it plugged into my old um, bread bin model. Bought the bread bin coloured uh, SD card reader there, casing. So I've just been um, mucking around with it, put a couple of games in it, so I just thought I'd show you, uh, show you it in action. So at the moment, I've got R-Type on it. As you can see, it's just uh, just finished loading, just needs me to press a button to get it started. So the main reason I bought this really was because um, I've got a data set disk uh, cassette drive for this thing. I had R-Type and it just took so long to load. And between each level and after you die, you've just got to rewind the tape and turn the tape over and it's just a it just takes forever and the Commodore 64 has got fantastic sound and the, the games are really good. <coughs> but that said, it's not a system I used to own. So I don't have to really buy any um, original games. And the only time I ever used one of these was at my dad's um, my dad's work. He worked at a vocational college and it taught farming and stuff. So this was plugged in and it had a basic program loaded up to called Super Cow. And it was just basically to calculate milk yields for milking um, cows. <laughs> so, pretty boring stuff really. And there wasn't any games on it. I always used to get frustrated on the startup screens when I get games to load up. So yeah, that said, I don't really need to. Um, I don't really need to buy any original games for this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna stick them all on the SD card. So let's listen to this fantastic music, courtesy of the SID chip. Let's see if we can do a bit of a one-handed gameplay. Uh, no. Yeah, well, so uh, yeah, one-handed R-type game plays isn't very um, isn't a very sensible idea. So I'll just turn the unit off and turn it back on, and we'll have a little look. Uh, okay, you load up, you load up for it. So yeah, just get the old Commodore Basic screen up, and if I can type one-handed. I was wandering all over the place. So when that loads up, you just type run. And this is the file browser I've got on the SD card. So I've also got, as you can see, ghouls and ghosts on there. So we just scroll down. And it started loading it. It'll take a little while. I mean, it's it's still um, Commodore disk drive speed, so it'll take a little while. A couple of minutes. But that's part of the fun in it, having the original um, emulate the disk drive loading times as well. That's part of the fun. So I'm finally going to get to play some excellent Commodore 64 games because I've not got many. And I'm not really looking to pick up any more original boxed versions. So I'll just play them off the old SD card. So how are we doing? Yeah, it's uh, still loading. You can see the little LED is lit up and they're... Those LEDs are also buttons. I think one's reset. 
within the menu and one is um, disk change. We put a little text file in with the um, folder containing the program, the game program. You can swap between disks. Uh, don't ask me how you do it, I don't know. So as you can see this is another hacked game. And there's no way I'm going to be able to do um, anything good on Ghouls and Ghosts one-handed. I mean, I've just I've just got the old Master System pad plugged in it. I mean, I've just died about ten times on the game, so there's no way I'm going to be able to do anything one-handed. But we'll just listen to some of the music. Courtesy of the fantastic Sid Chip. This game really has got good music. So you can see where got all the jazzy uh, loading screen here. Let's turn it up a bit. just really testing it out today I mean I've only got two games on there but yeah it does work it is a great little piece of kit I'll put a little link um, a little link below to if I can to the website there's different versions this you can get but this is I think 40 45 quid version so yeah really happy with it uh, finally got something to work today I've been prattling about with another SD card I've got for a BBC micro and that's not I'm not getting anywhere with that so Glad to get this one working. Thanks for watching.